Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Vicious, and it's time for another Dead Island tutorial. This one's going to be another big tutorial that has a lot of things crammed into just one. Instead of breaking it into a lot of small videos, because the things are so close together, they're all going to be sharing one video. So this video is going to show you how to get from City Hall, which I just came into City Hall from the sewers. That was the last tutorial I did was how to get from the church to City Hall. I'm going to show you how to get to the um, storefront and get the orange skull where to turn in the orange skull and the sewers and where to turn in the green skull which I showed you where to get the green skull from on, on the beach side in another tutorial so let's go ahead and get started I'm actually going to start this tutorial off exactly the same as I showed you how to farm diamonds here at City Hall. It just happens to work out best to go that route. And you only have to go through one extra room to grab that diamond on the way. So I say, you know what? Grab the diamond. Because you're going to need them to make these developer crafts. And if you're not going to use them for the developer crafts, then you can use them for money. So come up the stairs. And you're going to go to the right side here, bust of this door. Back away from this guy who's gonna try to explode. Really. Go ahead and go to the left. Throw this guy on the ground. Bust this door here. You got two guys on the floor here you need to take care of. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. Okay, where did they spawn me? Oh, exactly where we were. No big deal. Okay, so it's okay. Two guys on the left, and then we're going to go to this door on the left. Now in the mayor's office and grab the diamond out of the chest. Anything will help. Now instead of zoning back out to the sewer to repeat the diamond farming, here's the difference. This door here that we passed, we're gonna go ahead and go through it now. It's gonna take us to the second stairwell and we're just gonna go down to the bottom. Zombie here. Take care of him. I think this guy's alive. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, I think there's some few zombies in here as well. Oh, looks like we're in clear. So you got a workbench here. And some snacks. And this zones you out to the sewer. Now, th the difference is, this is not the sewer you came in from, from the church. This is the sewer that leads to the storefront. Uh, so what you want to do is go ahead and go in here. Now there's actually only one path to go from here to the uh, store, so I don't really have to give you a tutorial on how to get from A to B when it's linear. However, there's one small thing on the way that you definitely don't want to miss. And since it's a really short trip and the store won't take very long, I'm just going to throw it all in the video. Acid water. That's bad stuff. Okay, guys. Now pay attention. Uh, that's what I'm saying, so you remember at the end of the video, because you're going to have to remember this at the end of the video. I told you in previous tutorials that going to the store. You pick up the orange skull and you turn in the green skull. Well, it just so happens to be that right here, just outside of City Hall, on your way to the store, this very first ladder is where you turn in the orange skull that you're going to be picking up from the store. And since I have already been to the store and picked it up, I'm going to go ahead and turn that in right now. So 
we get out of here. Take out the zombie. Go in the door. There's gonna be this little thing on the wall. Hold F. Orange skull shows up there. Poofs into developer number one craft. Developer number one craft makes the uh, electric combat knife. So electro body is the uh, name it gives it. It's a military knife. It needs one battery, five diamonds. So you gotta get the knife and it makes a really cool knife for you. So that's why you're finding diamonds. So I will show you where the orange skull is inside of the store when we get there. Just remember that once you've got it, on your way back, right before you exit back into City Hall, go up that ladder and turn it in, okay? I've done these areas so many times for you guys, just to make a big clean tutorial. Stiff, so I know everything pretty much. The only thing I haven't run is the store, and I know it's so it's such a small place that's not a big deal. Anyways, but like I said, unlike the sewers, there's only one way you can go in here. You cannot actually get lost and get like seriously turned around. You just have to keep going forward. Every path is either a short dead end or the right path. Cut. And then are we, I think we're already there. No. Yep. Here we are. Supermarket. 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 I've been saying storefront and who knows what else but it's called the supermarket in the game all the other tutorials are going to call it the supermarket so here we are in the supermarket this is where you're going to get the orange skull which is what gives you the electric knife developer mod number one and it's where you're going to turn in the green skull, which is the developer mod number two, which is the baseball bat mod, electric baseball bat. Come on, mod. So there's three combat knives one's electric, one's poison, one's explosive. One baseball bat, electric mod, and then the last one, the 666 mod, is like this crazy magic glove that I haven't really got yet. That's the brown skull. So as you're coming into the supermarket here, whoa. Look at that. I still die. <laughs> this game gets pretty hard as far as, you know, number of hits it takes to die. Almost unfair at times. Where they spawn? Oh, I need to backtrack because they spawned me close to where we want to be. Back, 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 back. All right. goodies in here, man. Can't hurt to look. Sorry, viewers, then killing a little bit of time picking up stuff. This is useful. Here's the barbed wire mod. That's actually kind of nice to put in the tutorial. There he goes. 
There's where that's at. Alright, this should be where I just died. Yep. See, so come in this door. It's only been one way so far. Turn off that steam vent. Come around the corner here. In the left is the barbed wire mod and the workbench. To the right, hop over the table. Come around the corner here. Here's the stairs. Here's where the first skull is. Instead of going up the stairs, walk around them. And in this grocery cart right here is where the orange skull would be hiding if I had not picked it up already. Remember that the sewers between here and City Hall, that first ladder goes up to where you turn in the orange skull. And now we have to go find... Did I switch weapons accidentally? Oh, I hate when it does that. Find where we turn in the green skull. It's gonna be over here on the store shelves. We're gonna look for some teddy bears. So the other reason you might come to the storefront if you're not doing the skulls is just supposed to be a really good spot to farm for champagne, which can be later traded in for uh, diamonds or money or whatever. So I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of a full scout here. What do we have here? So again, I, I do sincerely apologize for killing just a little bit of your time. Kind of wandering around just a little bit instead of going straight to the uh, where I'm turning in that skull. Because I actually have not ventured around the store yet. But it's really small. It's just that one extra room. And here, there's going to be some teddy bears on the shelves. And that's where we're going to turn in the green skull. Let's go find that for you. Oh, here we go. Teddy bear is in the corner here. So it's in the very back corner over here, guys. And right there. Bam. Hold F. The teddy bear holds onto the green skull and poof. Developer craft number two. Developer craft number two guys is gonna make the home run bat. So he gives you this baseball bat mod. Pretty cool. I'll try to get videos up of all these weapons in action after I craft them. And that is gonna end this tutorial and I'm gonna go loot the heck out of this place. And I'll see you guys. We got two more skull tutorials to do, I think. Brown and something else. I'll have to figure out which one I haven't done yet. And uh, then after that, just general tutorials as they come up. See you guys next time.